What's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be talking about my experience using the mouse and keyboard. Now, remember, like I said, I've been on console for like my whole life and just now been on the PC picking it up and things of that nature. So I've been used to playing with the gamepad, the controller, for fucking like ever. And I'm just now starting to get used to to this mouse and keyboard deal. The reason it took me so long to make this video, because now I've been PC gaming for about a month and a half, two months, um, and so now I can actually give a good, like, good explanation as far as with some experience, because now I've actually done it. So, to first, first things first, when I first bought my PC, I had a really, really cheap mouse. I mean, cheap with the little ball at the bottom. And I mean, you like I used to use those back in, like when I was checking MySpace and things of that nature. So, and I was using a really cheap <coughs> membrane keyboard. And I was explaining to one of my friends who has, uh, who's the one who kind of got me into PC gaming. He told me, "Man, it's you having a horrible experience because your your peripherals suck." You know what I mean? And so I didn't. I, I kind of. I was like, eh, you know, maybe just this whole PC stuff is not for me. It was really like a letdown. I'd be playing first-person shooters, and I'd be missing, like, everything. I still am. Like, I still suck. I'm getting better. But, so, like I said, the story of this was I I ended up going and picking up a mechanical keyboard, which you guys have seen in my videos, the Corsair K70, and the Logitech G502 Proteus Core. And... Damn, does it make a difference. I can't fucking explain to you the comfort level that, that these give you. I thought it was all a gimmick, honestly. Like, all oh, LED colors and things. I thought it was just a big sales point. But this is legitimately unreal. And um, so, so as I've been progressing throughout, uh, one of the main issues I was having was just my fingers. It's like... It's like a person playing the keyboard. I mean, like like the actual piano for the first time. Your fingers just don't work that way, you know. W A S D shift and control and you know and shift to run and push control to go into a crouch and 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 like I mean just all over the space to jump and change your weapons with the scroll wheel on the mouse and this and melee is this. Just so many different buttons, so many different. It was so unreal fingers would cramp and everything like that and uh, so what I started doing was now just between deaths most likely in the game between deaths or in any downtime I, uh, I'll start like rubbing you know like kinda just doing like little stretches on my fingers things like that helping them get used to it and now it's been a lot more comfortable um, so that's the whole keyboard process that's kinda the negative I saw with the keyboard was just there was so much to do all the fucking time like you couldn't just sit back, you know, joystick on one hand or the joystick on the other and a few and triggers. It's like there was so much more going on. But now the benefits of the keyboard is what I've seen is, <clears throat> excuse me, what I've seen is first off completely 100% customizable. Like every key is customizable and you got you gamers, your PC gamers will know what I'm talking about. But some of these console gamers like who are like what I was... It, you, it, like you really don't understand the benefit of that until you see it. I mean, Matt, not there's no presets. It's you go into the menu, you push start, you go to controls, you go to keyboard, and it shows every action that your character can do, and then every key binding, and then you can set the key to each action that you want, whatever's comfortable for you, which is unreal. Like my mouse that I have, it has the side, the the buttons on the side, which is the programmable buttons. I use those for melee on certain games. So now, everything is just right, boom, really quick. I get close, I just hit that because my fingers are already on it. It just works that way. Also, another plus I've noticed is when I play games on my um, consoles with the gamepad, and mainly we're talking first-person shooters here, just to, you know, let's just clarify that. But when I play with games on my gamepad, um, it's in first-person, it's more like, for some reason, I feel because running is so handy, like sprinting, I feel like I'm always sprinting. I'm not focusing. I'm not stopping and thinking. Or whenever I get into an engagement with a, with an enemy or whatever, I'm always running around and, and not focusing on shooting because the joystick is just so handy. It's like the bittersweetness about the keyboard is it's almost a hindrance to run. 
and to crouch. So it makes you focus on just your skill level, just moving slow, planning out your attacks, pine corners, things like that, as opposed to just running through and going crazy and getting shot and killed and like, you know what I mean? So that was a big benefit I saw to that. So and now with the mouse, as opposed to a right thumbstick, the mouse is unreal. Like, just aiming with it is so nice. The custom, customizable or customability, whatever the fuck the word is, it's amazing. I mean, the one I have, you can add weights to the bottom to how heavy you want the mouse. Do you want it top heavy, bottom heavy, things like that? I mean, I love, I absolutely love, as opposed to pressing Y on the Xbox One or as opposed to pressing triangle on the PS4 or whatever, PlayStation or Xbox controllers, you could just use a scroll wheel to switch through weapons, which is amazingly handy for me. Just scroll right through, boom, perfect. I love the fact that it's right click to aim for ADS and then uh, left click to, to shoot. It's just so, everything is right there and it's so handy. And it's just like, like for the console gamers out there, I'm not over exaggerating, it's so much better once you get used to it. Like, in the beginning, it's so intimidating. It's such a letdown. You go into a match. You die every second. You go into any type of first-person shooter. You're getting killed, 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 and you suck. Excuse me, ma'am. That's what happened to me, and it's still happening to me. I'm still learning. I mean, you see my gameplay right now. Sucking, but I'm getting better. I'm getting there. Um, just, like I said, just the custom customization of it is just is amazing. Um... Because like I said, I don't want anybody out there to get discouraged, especially console gamers, because first-person shooters, I will never play with a gamepad anymore, ever. I'm strictly going first-person shooter with mouse and keyboard. Now, action and adventure games, I'm still, like right now when I play Witcher 3 or, or anything like that, where it's, you know, third-person views, whatever, things like that, I'm always on my gamepad just because it feels easier for me that's just personal opinion like I said all this is opinion it's not fact um, but yeah so I just love having everything right there handy for me everything's perfect on my keys like the customization of different peripherals you can use and different types of game pads you can use I mean a different types of peripherals as far as you know there's so many different types of keyboards that feel so different I mean you have the membranes which suck but then you have the mechanical which you have cherry mx blues reds browns tactile non-tactile like there's so much to that you could do that will give you whatever you need to, to get your job done like the mouse there's so many different my, like mouse you can you can adjust like so many settings you could buy different types of mouse with different feels as opposed to an xbox one controller or playstation 4 controller that's like all you get, unless you get like a Mad Cat one or something. That's literally all you get. You're stuck with it. You can't customize. You can't. I mean, and also, I guess in a sense, it's I guess level playing grounds for everybody on the console side, which is a, which is that's a positive. But regardless, for me, customization and being able to put what you want on your system on your build is is just everything for me. I think because on console you're so restricted to just what you get is what you get. I just that's why I put so much em emphasis on customization. I mean, I've said that word like a fucking thousand times in this one short video, 10 minutes I think. Um but yeah, so I mean, coming to a close just to sum it up. <coughs> summarize, I mean, first person shooters, mouse and keyboard all day. It's like now anything else is foreign. I'm still learning the ropes. I'm still getting better. I mean, we always got room for growth. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, just don't get discouraged if you suck. I suck. I still suck two months later. I mean, I'm going up against some, see some of these people on Steam. You look at their account. They've been playing for, like, the like 10 year vets or some weird shit. Like, I'm just like, God dang, man. Like, but regardless, thank you guys for watching. This was just a random rant and just a random discussion. So just please like, comment, subscribe uh, for more. Um, check out my channel. I got a lot more different types of content and things like that. So appreciate you guys. Peace.